Hello guys, welcome to Amit Thinks. In this video, we will learn how to download and install the current Eclipse version. So to install it, we don't need Java. The current Eclipse version comes pre-installed with Java. Let us start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google type Eclipse and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it to open. That is eclipse.org. Okay, now after reaching here, go to top right and click download. Now go below. The current version is visible here for 64 bit. Windows 10 as well as Windows 11 operating system. Click on it. Now here is the exe file. It's written JRE because it includes JRE as well as JDK. That means the complete Java. Click download. Now the download will start. Here it is. Let's wait. We have downloaded the exe file. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. The installation started. Here different versions for Eclipse can be seen. For Java the following is visible. For C++ here it is. We have development also like uh, for PHP, this is the version. We will go for the Java one that is Eclipse ID for Java developers. Click on it. Now you can see it is showing some versions, Java versions. I told you we don't need to install it separately. Let us go for the current one 22. You don't need to install Java separately. And the following is the folder where in our uh, Eclipse will get installed. Okay. Keep it as it is. It will also create a start menu entry as well as a desktop shortcut, which is fine with us. Click install. Accept the agreement. Accept now. Now the installation will start. It will take some good amount of minutes based on your internet connection. We have installed Eclipse successfully. You can see the desktop shortcut also. To open it, you can directly click here or you can also click on launch. With that, you can also go to start and type Eclipse. Now it will be visible here. I'll click launch. Here you need to set the workspace. So workspace is the place where in all your project files, folders and plugins will get saved. Okay, keep it as it is, but you need to remember this because all your projects will get saved here. You can copy this path. Okay, also keep it as default so that whenever you will be creating a new project, it won't ask you again and again. Click launch. Guys, if you want to learn how to run your first Java project on Eclipse, you can refer the link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching the video.